Now, we fixed the chromatic aberration, but there are still a couple of other problems, like a distracting person walking through the scene and some dust that got on the sensor because it was a really windy day. Let me show you how you can use a plugin inside of Aurora HDR. It's Luminar, also made by Skylum, and it's easy to hand off your image for cloning and healing. Now, you have the ability to send this over to Luminar. From the plugins menu, I can launch it. Luminar is a companion image editor and soon to be image cataloging tool. It allows you to easily do additional processing and advanced image repair. What I like here is it has a great tool for healing out spots. So now I've opened up this image and it sends it into Luminar. I'm not gonna actually apply any adjustments here. Rather, I'm gonna take advantage of a simple tool. From the tools menu, I'll choose the erase tool. This makes it easy to remove problems. Now what I can do is zoom in. So easy enough, just hold on the space bar here and I can adjust my brush right bracket, and just paint over some of these dust spots. Now, there's a good few of them in here, and one of the problems with HDR software is it'll take a small little bit of dust that would have likely been hidden and make it look much bigger. That's because as you merge all the brackets together, little details become big details. And depending upon the style of HDR that you use, you might see additional issues. Here we also have some of that ghost reduction that I was subtle with, but it looks okay. And you see that I can move through the image and just dust bust. Now, ideally, this would have been done in the camera, but like I said, mistakes sometimes happen and you need to know how to fix them afterwards. Now, I can go in and continue to do all of this. It is a little tedious. So I'm gonna jump ahead to the point where these are all selected. And additionally, you might try to paint over some other subtle details. Now this one's probably gonna benefit more from the cloning tool, but I'll try erase. When ready, I click the erase button and it will analyze the pixels and try to come up with new ones. That didn't do bad there, but a little cloning will probably do better, but it did a very nice job of removing those little spots in the sky. Now let's click done. And that's written to the layer. Now let's take advantage of the clone and stamp tool, which gives us a little more precision. I can now hold down the option or alt key to select a source point and paint those pixels in with greater accuracy to remove things. And you see there that we can be a little bit more precise about what pixels are sampled. I'm gonna get a smaller brush here, sample the wood here, and just paint that in a little bit. And you see it fills it in. We can also do the same thing down here to remove away a distracting person. You just need to sample good pixels that you want to keep and you can start to remove them away. Now, your brush has settings over here for hardness and softness. You might find that you need to adjust that so it's not so soft, particularly as you're working with super precise areas, but you can build up those strokes to easily remove elements that you find distracting in your photo. This gives you an additional set of tools that aren't available inside of Aurora and can be useful for things like object removal or spot removal. Let's just quickly take that out. There we go. That looks a lot better. Let's punch back out to fit the image. And those distracting elements are removed. I'll go ahead and click done. So it applies that and I can click apply and it will commit the edits in Luminar and return those back to Aurora. And you'll notice that the spots and the distracting elements are removed from the scene. This gives us a great image and we can continue to develop it or do additional processing, but get the results that we want. Now in this case, it looks pretty good, but I've noticed one little problem. My cloning was a little sloppy there. So because this is on its own layer, I can click here and choose paintbrush and I'm just gonna choose the erase option and I can erase down below and restore some of those details from an earlier layer. And you see that's great that we've got a layered image here that makes it super easy to mask and paint in between. All right, that looks really good at this point. I was able to remove some of those spots caused by dust, remove the two intruders that we had moving through the scene, 
and it looks like a finished image.